The darkness has always been with us. And humanity is right to fear it. The darkness wants to consume you and all you love. But my kind claim its power and wield it in defiance. Humanity is right to fear the darkness. But I am a blood knight, and the darkness fears me. It is now official the next week we are getting a new class the developer live stream has ended and we now have more information regarding the new class and this is GZ welcome to my channel so let's dig into this so the new class is coming out next week July the 13th and this is going to be a hybrid class meaning it is going to be mid range and close as well it depends on the skills that we actually choose along with the essences and the trailer which i already shown you but anyways let's move forward in the codex there are some things mentioned here suspended in limbo the tragic origin of blood knight assume the mental of blood knight use these skills to make the knight obey you shred through your opening with class specific legendary items spiteful blood legendary gem we have a new legendary gem coming out instincts short story by ryan queen catch up on diablo developer update live stream all right, so I do not want to get into the origin of this class, but basically Blood Knight is a curse class and he had a monstrous sight attached to him as well, which is going to give us some different transformation abilities that we will be using when we get our hands on it. But it is going to be on us what sort of builds we are going to use but one of the skill as you guys have seen is going to transform us into a monster which is just like the vengeance skill but it's a different it, it has been presented differently for the blood knight but anyways not getting into the origin i will be exploring this class by myself when i get my hands on it so yeah i will be changing demon hunter for a while to explore the blood knight and see how the blood knight class is you can start either a new character from the campaign or you can transfer your character from the get-go when the update comes along the next week also they are going to remove the cooldown of switching character for the next three weeks when the blood knight comes out we will be able to switch our character anytime when we like it's either in a day or hour or in minutes we can do that for the next three weeks when the blood knight comes out along with that we are getting a limited event called crimson 
plane. A three week long event like the fractured plane but everyone plays at the blood knight. You earn a blood knight cosmetic and a legendary item from completing it. So if you guys would be interested in getting the specific cosmetic for the blood knight then this mode is going to get you that. Alright, let's get into the primary attack. The first primary attack called Ravage unleash a barrage of Polarum Tusk that sweeps dealing damage to an enemy and 25% as much to all other enemies uh, that are nearby. So it's a melee attack. It's not like the crossbow or a wizard or the necromancer attack that you can do from the distance. The, at least the ravish doesn't do that then there is a primary version to that as well which i don't want to get into we will see when we get our hands on it but the second attack called the primary attack is shadow edge which will unlock at level 32 wield a blade of pure shadow energy that can be used to slash a nearby enemies dealing damage if there are no nearby enemies the blade will be thrown a dis short distance dealing damage so it will allow you to either do the melee or a short distance damage so that's a good one in my opinion especially if we have legendary gems that uh, works on the range like bloody reach but then let's move forward additional skills are there spear flurry unlocks on level one what it looks like is this is what it looks like the spear flurry uh, effects going into direction and dealing damage but the range doesn't seem long but uh, also these are just the normal attacks without any essence uh, attached to it then what else is there there are a couple of attacks then there is a channeling attack which is wave of blood level one Expel a wave of blood that knocks enemy down, dealing damage, maximum charges too. Maybe it's not a challenging attack, but this looks like a channeling attack here. Level 3. Shoot bloody tendrils into nearby enemies, dealing damage. Activate again to pull all inflicted enemies to you. This looks interesting. Blood Knight seems to be having a lot of of crowd control and now i cannot tell that whether it's going to be a total loss of control at attacks or just uh immobil immobilizing them but also this looks like a channeling effect which means you won't be able to use something else so it's a tricky one there then siphon of blood level eight continually Siphon blood from the spray, spray around you, dealing damage to all nearby enemies while also healing yourself for 15% of the damage done. So there goes another challenging uh, skill then. Sanguinate level 15, liquefy into a blood form for 2.5 seconds, increase your movement speed by 50%, activate again to congulate your being and rush forward so this is like the teleport but with the blood ability level 20 umbrella lands so it's another channeling channeling ability i think penetrate through enemies dealing damage charging longer increase range okay the more we charge the the, the longer distance we can hit so that's how it is then 360 degree swarm of bats, call a crowd of bats to attack enemies for 8 seconds. Continually then dealing damage, the cloud of bats will pursue enemies and can be redirected by activating this skill again. So it will have multiple charges I get. Then whirling strike level 30, whirling worm your polar worm around your multiple around you multiple times dealing damage to nearby enemies maximum charges too this looks interesting and uh, i think the, the enemies cannot see you we'll see if 
test the case in PvP as well. Then another skill at level 44 release a toxic cloud around you for six seconds that confused enemies causing monsters to attack each other. No, I don't think this is going to be any good because monsters are really lazy and takes a lot of time to attack. So I wouldn't suggest this. Then level 44 skewer an enemy with your polarum and then slam the enemy into the ground we have seen this as well so there are a lot of skills but i have to check them out my by myself also we are getting 60 new class specific legendary items for blood knight so i am not going to get into them because we have no clue how to make them work with one another unless we try them out all by ourselves so i am skipping this but yes it's a good news that we are getting 60 of them from the get-go that is going to help us make some builds also we are getting a new five star legendary gem that is actually good for pvp in my opinion but what it does is taking damage while below 50 percent life cost spike full blood to search through you so it increases your chance slightly to survive in pvp increase your damage done by 30 percent and make you invulnerable to primary attacks from other players so all the primary attacks coming to you for the next four seconds will make you vulnerable but the skill damage will still affect you so yeah it does give you some more survival ability but this is what it looks like at rank 10 but still the invulnerable part is going to be there and also you are going to get some primary damage with this and also it will provide you with the shield as well so this looks good instinct short story by or I'm not going to get into this so yeah that's all for now for the blood knight and i will definitely going to test down and make builds for this class if i like this and maybe i'll play with this class for some time but eventually i will be getting back to my demon hunter but yeah this is it for the video and also the phantom the lilith phantom uh cosmetic is going to work with this class as well so if you have that you don't have to worry about buying the cosmetic from the shop you can actually just use that instead but anyways i'll see you guys in my next one do let me know what you guys think about it and until then take care have fun and bye guys